What's up everybody? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a couple basics about hint routing in MediaHerd on the GameCube version of SA2. Uh, the reason this is different than the PC version is because of less hint monitors uh, leading to different decisions that you have to make. And I'm going to be explaining those decisions right now. So the first difference is that there's no uh, monitor on the first platform. And that's huge because it means that you can't really reset a bunch of pieces uh, and because you can't reset bottom pieces, might as well get a bottom hint. Uh, so this hint is the best hint to get uh, for that reason, uh, as well as the fact that it's only about two and a half seconds slower to actually reach the rocket uh, if you do correct movement. And that correct movement involves doing this slope jump up here so you don't have to climb. Uh, and you might be asking, about two and a half seconds slower than what? And I'm glad you asked. About two and a half seconds slower than just going straight to this hint off the jump and then going to the rocket. Although I will say, if you are the kind of runner that can't get every single meteor herd hint, uh, or can't get every single meteor herd piece just by the first hint, this is a pretty solid piece too uh, if you're going to the middle or top regions because it's very, very close. Uh, it's just pretty, it's, it's a commitment that you need to take. Uh, or it's, a, it's an unnecessary commitment uh, for the very first hint that you take, but if you need a second hint, then this one is beautiful for that. So, we take the rocket. The rocket lets us go on this platform. Now, uh, this platform, I'm just going to collect the piece because, uh, or so we don't have the radar bugging us later. I'm going to kill this guy so he doesn't kill me, but yeah. Yeah. So on this platform, we are very close to the next hint that we are going to be using a lot, and that is this one. This hint right here is very important because it is very close to a lot of regions of uh, the middle section. Uh, it's easy to get to because you don't really have to climb anywhere to get it. You can basically drill dive from anywhere in the middle uh, and glide over to it. Um, and it's very open. So if your piece three is down below, you can read the hint and drill dive all the way down. Or, uh, you know, if it's up top, then you grab the hint, go over here, hit the spring, and boom, you're right by the rocket. Uh, but if your first piece is in the Ark's huge storage area, then you are probably going to want to take this hint instead, uh, because it is a piece that is, you know, or it's a hint that's not too far out of the way, but it's pretty out of the way if you're, you know, over by evil water drops or, you know, uh, two against one, you're probably not going to want to glide all the way over here, then come in all the way in here to read the hint, and then go all the way back. It's just a lot of extra movement. But if you uh, are he over here anyway, and it's not a very far movement, like over here, and I'm pretty sure even if you break this uh, fast rotating meteorite, um, it's going to be pretty much always faster to grab this one in those situations. Generally still, you are going to want to grab the hint that is right here. This hint is going to be your best friend in the middle section of the map. Now I am going to mention uh, something else that helps with hint routing, and that's collecting your piece 3 before you need to get a hint. So uh, if you take the spring up and glide over here, then you can see if there's a piece flying around in these three tanks. I was going to show you the movement for just gliding back, but the piece will be flying around this section. It'll be flying at around this height. Um, it's a very good piece three to get. It's not that hard to check for. Um, and if you get, thank you, Meteor, for ruining my cinematic camera angle. Uh, <laughs> if you get this piece, then you don't have to worry about looking for another hint monitor. You can just grab it uh, without one. So now uh, we are going to go back over here. Also, you don't have to go all the way over there to get it. Uh, you just have to go close enough that the back rail loads in and the emerald should load in as well. So now we're going to take this rocket up. And uh, immediately after getting off this rocket, we're going to look right. <gasps> I have it. Perfect. So as you can see, there is a nice green blob right there. My radar is not going off and I haven't read a hint for it, but the green blob is right there. This is another free piece that I like to look for called moving smoothly at the top of the arc. Uh, again, having a piece three means you don't have to look for a hint monitor to tell you what your piece three is. So this is a very good one. There are a couple of other free piece checks you can get in the stage, but these two are very, very important and everybody should do them if they're in these regions of the stage. So, 
So we have our piece three check, but I still want to talk about the hints that are up here. There is a hint right here, which is probably not the hint that you're going to want to grab. But if you're going anywhere, actually, you know, what? yeah, it is the hint that you want to grab. If you're, let's say your piece is like black containers on a black platform, then you're going to come over here and then go all the way back over, probably killing this guy in the process. And, you know, you get this hint because it's not that far. And then if your piece three is not up top like mine is, then you uh, can go down. But the other uh, hint that you can get, let's say you get dangerous water drops or uh, guns machine protecting the arc, then you can get those. And then the hint monitor that you're going to want to get is right here. Uh, these two also exist on PC and they, the hint routing for the top is very similar. But the free piece check is the main reason that I wanted to uh, mention it. So now I'm going to grab my hint. Twin stars, okay. Um, oh, final thing. Um, if you get the piece, this isn't related to hint routing. This is just another thing that you should probably know if you're playing Meteor Herd. If your final piece is try digging while watching the moon uh, or try digging while watching the stars, then the best strategy is to drill dive straight here because that platform we just passed had the moon and the stars on it and we didn't get a radar ping. So we can know it's not that one. And if we keep drill diving, then we will land on the other platform or the bottom platform where uh, try digging while watching the moon or stars can be. And then you can take a spring up to the last one. That's just a quick tip for you, unrelated to the video. Well, I guess it's kind of related. But yeah, uh, that wraps up hint routing. Um, if your piece one is on the bottom, then of course there's like that hint and the hint on zero one, and there's a hint on 0 0.5. There are hints everywhere in this stage uh, down the bottom. But yeah, I'm gonna collect this piece. I'm gonna do another uh, quick meteor herd using all the tips that I've just shown you. Uh, and that'll be it. So if you don't want to see the demonstration, then thanks for watching. But if you do, then here we go. And this is going to be a first take. So if I get a 130, then it is what it is. GameCube Meteor Herd is a bit brutal. So we do a punch excel for some movement. Grab the sheep if you want to. First tent in front of a big door that never opens. Boom. I'm going back over here to get a hint. Under a star. Okay. The reason I got that hint... Well, actually, no. It probably would have been better to grab the, uh, the one up here. Would have been better to grab that one. Interesting. Circle the rotating beacon. It's closer. Yeah. I found them. That's going to be it. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you uh, are able to use these tips to good use. Have a good one.